and I am rotating it, moving it forward. Can you see that the calciums are breaking from the chalk? See, this is what it happens inside the coronary arteries. Hello, today I will show you the latest technology in cutting heart calcium in the coronary arteries and this is called orbital atherectomy. I am Dr. Siddharth Mani, Consultant Interventional Cardiologist at RN Tagore Hospital, Mukundapur, Kolkata. Basically, first I should explain that what is this coronary blocks or uh, why uh, do we have a heart attack or a chest pain which we call angina. So basically, our heart is a muscular organ. So this is our heart two ventricles, two atrium, so there are four chambers and the blood is coming out from aorta which is the main artery and distributing blood all throughout the body. Inside if you see then you will find that these are the ventricles, the cavities where the bloods fill and these are the muscles which pump out like this and the blood is ejected through this red vessel which we call the aorta. On the surface of the heart, there are blood vessels or the coronary arteries. These red ones are the coronary arteries. This is the main left sided coronary artery which we call LAD. This is the LCX, this left uh, uh, side artery going to the back of the heart and this is the RCA or the right coronary artery. So, there are basically three coronary arteries giving blood supply to the muscles and once there is a block inside this coronary artery, there is deposition of cholesterol, fatty tissues and calcium inside these arteries like this, the yellow deposits, they gradually narrow this artery. You can see that this is the big artery and it has got narrowed here. So, gradually and gradually this normal lumen of the artery gets shortened by deposits, deposits and the deposits go on increasing. And then there occurs a rupture here and there is a clot formation and that occludes the entire vessel, the entire blood flow and a part of the heart do not get any blood. That is what is called as heart attacks. Now, in angioplasty, what we actually do, I will show you based on a simple diagram. Suppose this is a coronary artery and there is a block, there is deposit of cholesterol, fatty tissue, calcium like this. We send a wire inside, over that wire we send a balloon like this, we inflate the balloon and we spread these deposits across the wall like this and then ultimately we put in a stent which is a spring like structure and we inflate that stent. So, it looks like spring like structure inside and there the deposits got get spread on the sides, the inside lumen gets free of clots, free of all blockages. Now the toughest angioplasties are probably those which have hard calcium deposits. You all know you have seen my other videos on coronary artery calcium. So when there is calcium deposits in these blocks they become very hard stone like and it is very difficult by our normal balloons or normal stents to expand or to open those blocks. It is very difficult to break those calcium to cut those calcium and there we need advanced therapies or advanced hardwares and tools like this where they can cut the calcium, they can cut the hard stone like deposits. How? I will show you. This is called orbital atherectomy. Orbital atherectomy is basically a hardware 
this is the wire which we have sent inside the artery and over that we pass this uh, catheter. This is the orbital atherectomy catheter and it has a terminal black portion you can see which has diamond chips embedded on it and it rotates. It rotates at very high speed. Uh, 80,000 or 120,000 rpm that is revolutions per minute and you can show uh, I can uh, just demonstrate that this is how it rotates. Can you see that it is rotating at such high speed and inside the coronary blocks when we rotate this uh, atherectomy catheter in very high speed it cuts through the calciums it breaks tiny particles of calcium from the heart chunks and thus it uh, it makes its way or it peps out its way inside the coronary arteries i will just show you with the help of a chalk chalk means you know this is calcium so suppose i am holding it like this and i am rotating it moving it forward can you see that the calciums are breaking from the chalk see this is what it happens inside the coronary arteries so thus uh, inside the coronary artery as i showed you in these diagrams that if there is hard calcium suppose these white things whitish things these are calciums so these hard calciums are broken by rotation of this catheter the orbital atherectomy catheter so we take this black portion of the catheter inside this uh, blocked area and we rotate it at very high speed so the catheter will rotate inside like this at very high speed and they will make tiny particles of calcium and they will be washed off by the constant saline flow you can see that when we are rotating there is a flow of water you can see there is water coming out so there is high speed jet of water saline which is coming out and washing off those small tiny particles of calcium so this is how orbital atherectomy works and basically uh, i mean in very calcified very tough tight stenosis uh, lesions uh, we often do not uh, uh, i mean we are not able to pass our normal balloons we are not able to pass our normal stents it do not expand properly but once we prepare the bed once we break this calciums by this atherectomy or vital atherectomy catheter, uh, we, we expand the lesions, we cut the calcium and then our balloons expand properly, our stent expand and get attached to the wall, we say apposition, apposition of the stent to the wall normally and thus the normal blood flow is uh, re-established. So this is about a latest technology orbital atherectomy. There are other technologies also which we regularly use rotational atherectomy. We have laser uh, atherectomy devices. So there are different other devices also, but this is very handy and this is very safe. Uh, I, I should say it is one of the safest procedure. It does not have much risk of coronary artery perforation. It does not cause much of a slow flow and the uh, risk stenosis uh, rates after stenting that is again blocks occurring inside the stent. Those rates are also very less. So to me, I use this uh, technology a lot in my complex cases and uh, really I am very satisfied with this technology and that is why I wanted to share uh, about this technology with you people and whenever you are suggested a uh, uh, complex angioplasty and if your doctor suggests of orbital atherectomy I think you should rely on this technology and go ahead with the procedure. Thank you.